Earl? What are you doing, Earl? Early. Oh. He was over there playing with something. Earl? I think we popped out. I don't know what the... Oh, are we live? I don't know. You gotta tell me. Oh, it says we're live. Sweet! Okay, so let me check my phone here. Comments. Yeah, let me see. Episode 111. So I can comments. check the chat. Oh, there we are. Oh, okay. Sean Moore, first one in here. Patrick... Connie Patrick Cleary, Lord, Patrick Lord, and Sean Moore. Sweet. The first three that are here. Wow. Awesome, awesome, awesome. <laughs> we're a few minutes early, which is great. Well, you know, we're on time this time. That's good. It's, it's nice change. to be on time. It's like the new year, you know, we're you know, starting out fresh and trying to, to do a better job. Mm -hmm. You know, every show we try to improve. So hopefully you guys are having a good week. We had a very good week. We did. I guess it was a week, right? Yeah. You know, kept busy, but it, it seemed good. It just seemed, seemed like, like things were all good. Yeah. Yeah. Better mm -hmm. moods. And Earl is uh, driving me crazy. He's like over there getting into something. I keep watching him. Yes. <laughs> So, hey guys, happy Friday. Yeah, finally. <laughs> <laughs> More like fry yay. Yeah, that's right. Good. That's right, yeah. <laughs> that Rebecca Black song keeps going through my mind. Friday, Friday, Friday. gotta get down with Friday. <laughs> See, now the computer says 74 people are here. My phone is showing three. Oh my. <laughs> yeah. What's up with your phone? Oh, no, it's showing 85. Uh -huh. Okay. Even, what, even one up. Nice. Rance Martin says he is here. That's cool, great. Rance. We've been waiting for you. We're taking so long. All right. Joe's like, y'all, early. A little, little bit. Don't get too crazy. Don't, don't hold us to the time. <laughs> we try when we can, you know? Right. Who is it? Colton here for me. All right. <laughs> All right. Wow. Let's so, see. yeah, we have such a such a big show for it. I can't wait. I mean, oh. just when I think uh, it can't get any more fun, things just start coming in to, uh, from fans to us. And, uh, right. It's just so much fun. I love doing this show because it sort of uh, kind of makes itself, you know, begin with the fans' help, of course. You know, the viewers are really, really helpful, you know. Yeah, we have a lot of show, and uh, you guys are awesome. So many people sent in the uh, color and caption contest. Man, we got all that. Well, we'll we have all that going that. on. So, yeah, we'll talk about that in a minute. I don't know what to do myself with like all this extra, you know, this five minutes is like forever. It feels like it, longer yeah. than the regular show. It does. Share this with your friends. Yeah. Let them join in and uh, they can watch the movie with you. Wake up your with mind. Us. That's right. <laughs> Get the dog some treats, anything. Yeah. We're in for a cheesy B movie. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Totally cheesy. I mean, what else do you expect, right? <laughs> Albert says ship here early. Holy ship. Holy ship. <laughs> and make sure you get that P out there. <laughs> Ship. Ooh, baby. Fabian says he's number 92. 92, I made it. <laughs> nice. Everyone take a number when you come in. Yeah. Ugh. Got a cramp in my big toe. That always doesn't feel good, you know? Ouch. Oh, well, you know. Well, it was me. <laughs> All right, well, we're getting close there to 113, the, uh, I saw. 114. Oh stars and garters. Ooh. Ah, it's going to be a good show. John says his cat is sitting in his lap. Well, meow. Meow. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, invite the cat to watch the show, too. Yeah. You wake the kids up if they took a nap. Because mm -hmm. uh, this, this, yeah, tonight's show is, is pretty... Uh, go wake up your movie. neighbors, you know, go share with go share with all your friends. Yeah, the movie is not, <laughs> it's nothing like last week's movie where it was very demented. This is a lot a lot more subtle and more sci-fi. Sci Type of thing, so yeah, more like a sci-fi drive-in cheese, late sixties schlocky cheesy sci-fi. Yeah, thing. it's more for for most ages to watch. Oh yeah, if they don't uh, fall back to sleep, but that's yeah. <laughs> that's the only thing that could happen. Well, we should let's uh, let's start the show. I, let's do that, and we'll be right back right here on the, the Mummy, Mummy and, and the Monkeys, monkeys Harry, Harry Scary, scary Hangout. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Stasha! Stasha! Get your dupa in here! It's almost time for the Mummy the Monkey's Hairy Scary Hangout. And you know what that means? We gotta do our hair ski scare ski workout. So get in here, come on! Alright, hey, where you, how you been, girl? Good? Ah, be quiet, you talk too much. Anyway, so we're getting ready to work out here. So let me put the music on our boombox here, and away we'll go! It's Friday night! Time to watch the Mummy and the Monkey! And you know what that means, gang. So let's get our groove on and limber up with another session of the Hair Ski Scare Ski Workout. Step one, the remote reach. <laughs> 
Well, even though this show is streamed live on the internet, I've got a pretty good feeling that you're going to try to use that remote anyway. So go ahead, reach for it. Reach, reach, oh, too bad. Step two, the popcorn polka. Wow, looks like you're already done and haven't even started yet. But don't let that stop you from preparing a delicious snack to enjoy the show with Here Goes Nothing. Final step, step three, the drinking jive. Let's make a yummy drink to wash down that snack. Ready? Pick up that shaker and shake. And shake, that's right. And shake and shake and shake, that's right. Now shake and shake. Turn around, shake and shake and Don't shake that hard. <laughs> and shake and shake and shake and shake and stop. All right, ready? Now you want to pour that drink into the glass, all right? Yes, that's good. It looks so good. And now it's time to garnish it with an umbrella and a pierogi so you can enjoy your pierogi pizza. Congratulations! You have your remote, your snack, your drink, and now you're ready to enjoy the Mummy and the Monkey's Harry Scary Hangout. Boy, will these two ever learn? <laughs> well, whoop de doo Hey, gang! Welcome, I'm Cliff Jablonski, the behind the scenes guy here at the Mummy and the Monkeys Hairy Scary Hangout, yeah. And I wanna know one thing, are you DTF? That's right, you know what I'm talking about. Are you down to Friday? <laughs> All in one. <laughs> you ready there? Yes. Hey, welcome, Mega One. What it all to the, the Mummy, Mummy and, and the Monkeys, monkeys Hairy, Hairy Scary Hangout. <laughs> I'm Janet Takei, you are Yummy Mummy. And I'm Grim Gordy, your Funky Monkey, and this is our 111th live streaming episode. 111 episodes. 111 oh. and 21. <laughs> wow. Yeah, it's, it's, it's incredible. And, um, yeah, I mean, where do we start? I mean, uh, well, we've got a fun B movie for you tonight. We have a contest, a color and caption contest, and we're going to announce the winners later tonight and show some of those awesome colorists. That's right. Uh, we have uh, TV Showtime travel for you later on, uh, some skits and uh, another St Stasha skit we got. Yeah. And a fun music video at the end of the show. That's right. That has something to do with tonight's <laughs> movie, so it's going to be a lot of fun. You know what? With this show, you just never know what's going to happen or who just might drop in. No, you never but, know. What the? Hey! Oh! Hey, 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 Gramps, down in front. What oh. are you doing down there, buddy? Out of the way. Uh, hi there. <laughs> what the heck? What, what's Grim, he... maybe you should turn the heat up. He looks really cold. Yeah, he must be. He's fever chattered over there. Hey, you know what? <laughs> I think he's he's been pretty busy. I'm surprised that he even showed up here tonight. Yeah, I... I... Well, it's it's nice that you're joining us to watch the movie. That's crazy. Well, you know. He came all the way from Vermont. Yeah, I mean, I, I think he needs no introduction, but apparently he's popping up everywhere, Bernie. And uh, I guess uh, he's going to be sitting here for a little bit tonight, I guess. I don't know what his plans are. Well, hopefully he doesn't eat all your popcorn, Grim. He's been pretty quiet, though. I think I think right now he's like he's either napping or uh, he's using his psychic abilities or to, to talk to us. So if he's concentrating, maybe that's... Oh, yeah, okay. Oh, yeah. 
You want me to do the birthday shout outs? That sounds like a good idea. Okay. okay. Let's, let's do some birthday shout outs. All right. Yeah. All right. So we have two very special birthdays. Happy birthday to Kate Markitan. Happy birthday, Kate. Her birthday is Saturday the 23rd. <laughs> and then Donna's husband, Daryl. Happy birthday, Daryl. He's Happy 50, birthday. What? He's 56 years old, and his wow. birthday is today. 56 years young, you're supposed to say. 56 years <laughs> young. Was that okay, Byrne? Did she do all right with the, with the shout-outs? Okay, the birthday thing's on. What else? Let me see. Let's just think. He's, 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 he's talking to us again. <laughs> He oh, says, did we tell the, the, the title of the movie? No, I don't think we did. Oh. But, but yeah, he just uh, thought texted me that. Oh, we did. Okay. He said, he said, tell Janet to tell the viewers what the movie is tonight. Oh, okay. okay. So tonight's movie is a Voyage to the Planet of Prehistoric Women. And it's from 1968. Starring Mamie Van Doren. Mamie, how I love you, how I love you, <laughs> Mamie. <laughs> And this movie is very, very cheesy. Grim added some fun sound effects to it. And uh, I don't remember if John Saxon's in this he movie. He is in this movie tonight. He is? Lots oh. of cool stuff in this movie tonight. Lots Yay! Of lots of drops, lots of slops. It's going to be a lot of fun. <laughs> and it's in, it's in four farts tonight, so it's not this like five or six fart movie. All right. And uh, we've got some mini monster shout outs. That's, uh, is it, did Bernie tell you to do that too? Uh, he suggested okay, it. Okay. Yeah, and it's what we do every episode. Yeah, he is a true fan, obviously. Yes. I, I didn't know he even watched our show. That that really surprised me. Thank you. <laughs> oh, I'll rub his shoulder. Uh, so many monster shout outs too. Dario, Becky, Sienna and Dominic. Hey, hey. <laughs> Miss Violet. Hey Violet, how you doing? Isabella. Hey Isabella, you wanna hold this burden? No? Okay. And uh Carly and Cassandra. Hi, Carly, hi Cassandra. <laughs> Eva and Mackenzie. Ooh. And Mackenzie. Hannah Banana. Hannah, Hannah Banana. Na, 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 na. Adrian, Atticus, and Julian. Woohoo! All right. Hey there, mini monsters. Thank you for watching. That's right. Thanks for staying up so late because we know uh, it's, it's sometimes hard to. I remember trying to stay up for some late night the horror hosted shows when I was a kiddo and uh, would fall asleep and be mad the next morning when I didn't see my show. <laughs> uh, all right. What else, Bernie? Uh huh. What, the magic macabre? Of course. 171 watching. Of course she's going to do it. So Bernie says you should probably do the Magic Macabre Mirror next. Okay. All right. Are we ready? You got something to do. All right. Grim yeah. and, uh, and uh, that guy from Vermont? Yeah. All right. Magic Macabre Mirror. Woo. Magic Macabre Woo. Mirror. Tell me, tell me, who Woo. be here? I see Connie, Keith, Dane, Greg, Gary, Todd, Loretta. I see Jim Moravsik, Bobby Harvey Jr., Ron Garstick, yeah. Scott, Daryl, Cindy West. I see Ray, Fabian, Dave, Miss Lois, Miss Connie, Bill, Toby, Wow. Shane. Oh my gosh, there's so many of you here. This is great. So, I think your macabre mirror is starting to smoke there. It's starting to I know. There's, there's this, overload. Wow. And Bob and Bill and Annette and Denny. And Gary, and Ray. Wow, and Lofty Moose. Lofty, <laughs> what's shaking? <laughs> we are the show that watches you back. So thank you guys. And uh, how many farts are in this movie, there are, Like I said, there's only four farts four? to the movie, which if you're just new to tuning in, we call the parts of the movie, farts of the movie, thanks to our good friend, Bob Ferguson out there who gave us an idea to call him that. So thank you, Bob. Yes. Oh, what's that? Oh wait, Bert, uh, the, the guy from Vermont's talking to you. What, what's that? Oh, you have to go? Oh, why? Why so soon? You just got here. Oh, you have like a, a 10 billion other places you have to be he's, on the he's internet? He's got other beams to show up He's then. got tons of he's got tons of places to be, he said. Okay, so, well, thanks for stopping in, uh, dude, and uh, we'll see, I'm sure we'll see more of you coming up here uh, somewhere <laughs> around the web. So, uh, take care, man. All right, yeah, see ya. Bye. Bye-bye. Oh, there he goes. Wow. I didn't know he had teleportation powers. I didn't either, but there, but there he goes. Well, thanks for dropping in. Like I said, <laughs> well, a, now I've got some more leg room. He's, uh, I'll say. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so. <laughs> All right, let's start the movie, Grim. Let's get in with the show. Uh, let's get on with the show, as they say, and we'll see you in a little bit after part one of Voyage to a Prehistoric Planet, right here on The Mummy. Voyage to the Prehistoric Wh what? Planet, Planet of Women? Oh, it's too many words for me. Prehistoric Women? Planet of Prehistoric Women. Voyage to the Planet of the Prehistoric Women. Yes, there we go. Right here, Stickler. <laughs> on the Mummy and the Monkeys. Harry, Harry Scary, Scary Hangout. Hangout. Enjoy or not. <laughs>
places where I left her. Twenty-six million miles away. Because I know she exists. I know she does. I know it. All the time we were there, I heard her. Her and that sweet, haunting sound she makes, like the sirens that tempted Ulysses. <laughs> I think I'm crazy back here on Earth. Crazy and still intoxicated by the atmosphere back there. <coughs> But wait a minute, I'm getting ahead of myself. Let me tell you the whole story. All of it. From the beginning. And see what you think. You be the judge. This lame story he's about to tell me? It was two years ago. Really? In 1998 that the first manned spaceship left Earth for the planet Venus. This attempt ended in tragedy. A meteor hit the ship. Burn! Everything was lost. Everything but the will to get there, to explore Venus. And so... There were only two men on the new mission. Astronaut Howard Sherman and Captain Please. Alfred Burns. The But there was design. another being with them. All right. Kern's invention, Robot John. Awaken, John. <laughs> Awaken. Blow, John. Monitor, John. Sorry, I was giving myself an oil job. I hear you. Everything went smoothly the first part of the voyage. They traveled over halfway, 17 million miles, without mishap. Radio contact was maintained with Marsha at Earth Control, and they stopped on schedule at the United States Space Station, Texas, for refueling. Earth Control, we listened to their progress with more concern than anyone else. Refueling, A-OK, -okay, over and out. There's more I can... Because we were the command crew, And if anything went wrong, we were set to follow. There were three of us. Commander William Billy Lockhart. You look more like a woman every time I see you. Astronaut Hans Walters. Hey, girlfriend! And me, Andre Freneau. Now, this howdy-doody-looking mother fella. I remember how worried we were as we listened to their voices from so many miles away. Kern's calling Marsha. Kern's calling Marsha. Marsha, Marsha, Marsha! Refueling completed. Ready for blast off. Well, it's about time. And then they saw it. Venus. Cloud formations, 30% ash content. And they prepared to land. A planet of fire below us. Is it a new world or will it consume us all? At any moment now. I mean, this is about as interesting as, as listening to a John Tesh album. And then, suddenly, things started going wrong. Black clouds. Light. I don't like the looks of this. I'm scared and excited, too. I'm turning control over to Robot John. Ahead, steep mountain. I am going up. Wow, close call. We're watching on the location finder. The area is strange. This is truly a prehistoric planet. Oh, is that a fact? Landing location is square 73. We're now dropping our beacon. Landing 300 meters southwest of square 73. Uh-oh, there's water beneath us. We're drifting. Sherman. Kern. 
Hanser. Kern. Sherman. Kern. Are you there? No. It was terrible. It was just terrible. I'll never get over it as long as I live. It's hopeless. Well, very soon after that, it became clear there was only one thing to do. What's that? Blast off for Venus ourselves. Complete the mission, explore the planet, and attempt to rescue Kearns and Sherman. If they were still alive, Coming. Stop rushing me! Boys on. That's it. Cover me, Kern. Look out. There comes another one. Ow! Oh, got him. <laughs> Kern, behind you. Secure yourself to that boulder, John. No! Proceed. Proceed. better equipped to fight this place than we are. I'm wondering if we should be here at all. Why don't you catch a bus and go home? Don't think I wouldn't if I could find one. <laughs> there he is. He's up. Pull it tight. He can hold it. You better go first, and I'll come along after you. Within two hours, we were ready to go. considering the way things turned out. What I was thinking about as we sped through the dark universe on our way to an unexplored planet. I was wondering if maybe there wasn't some reason that Venus had been named after the goddess of love. Oh, please. If maybe there wasn't some wise old astronomer way back in the dawn of time who knew something. Something he kept to himself. My men. But before I could come to any conclusions about it, we were preparing for our touchdown on Venus, where maybe I'd find all the answers. And then, almost before I knew it, we were there. We were landing. begin celebrating yet. Why? <laughs> oh. Is our level okay? Hell no. Yep, there it is. On the button. Boy, it sure feels strange to have weights. You know you're getting chubby. Yes, it does seem strange. That's sure. But it's nice and solid. <laughs> well, I don't know about you fellas, but I'd like to see Venus. You what? Open number three and hit the beam. Paper, try the port viewer. 
telescreen gets it okay, we'll pan port. Formations of weird rock. Something's there. I'll switch on the outside sound pickup. Six o'clock, it's time to rock. Commander Greg with you for the golden age of rock and roll show. This is Cleveland's oldest alternative on Sunday nights where we have the rock and the bop and the rhythm and the blue, the surf, the drag, the doo-wop too. It's finished. Transfer it to playback. Meanwhile, you might check upon the atmosphere, Hans. It better be good. Then you better get your spacesuit. We'll move out. Andre, I want you to attempt a contact with Sherman by radio. If you raise them, tell them to report their position. Then get yourself into a spacesuit. We're gonna walk about. I'll be right behind you. That'll be handy if I slip. Get popping now. You're the greatest guy in the whole galaxy. 4.7 on oxygen. That's, That's pretty close. close. Everybody out there, stay real funky. You are watching The Mummy and the Monkey. <laughs> want to raise a giant leech. Do you have a giant leech? Congratulations! You are now the proud parents of a juvenile giant leech. Now let's feed Junior. Say, where is the little guy? Uh-oh, a leech's primary diet is blood. Better pry that bugger off quick. Are the monkeys a gonna but for sure? Ah, blood in a bottle. That's more like it. Did you know that a leech can ingest up to ten times its body weight of the red, warm, sticky stuff? Mm-mm, good. It's a beautiful day for a stroll with baby in tow. Ah, the fresh air is nourishing. But remember, Nothing will ever replace a leech's insatiable lust for blood. <laughs> the big day is finally here. You've managed to rear a parasite into adulthood. A giant leech now is he. Sadly now it's time to send him off. To become a productive member of modern society. Or in this case, society, productive to him. I think so. Oh, hey, welcome hey back there. one and all to the, the Mummy and the Monkeys, monkeys Harry Scary Hangout. <laughs> Sans the guy from Vermont. <laughs> yeah, he had other stuff to do. He had yeah. more memes to show up in. He's a very, very popular guy lately. Anyway, <laughs> so uh, I hope you enjoyed tonight's movie. Now, let me get this right. Voyage to the, pre the, the planet of prehistoric women. Voyage to the planet of prehistoric, prehistoric women. women. Yes. Not to be confused with Voyage to the Prehistoric Planet from 1965. Oh, see? <laughs> there was, is a movie like that. I knew that. It's huh? very, it, well, yeah, kind of similar. Ah, and, uh, you know, so you saw, you sat through Fart One of that, and you just kind of learned how to uh, raise a giant leech from a, a, a baby, right? From a yeah. little pup, okay? You learn everything <laughs> on this show. Yeah, lots of education here. Um, yeah, so the movie starring Mamie Van Dorn, we haven't seen the prehistoric no. women yeah, yet. Yeah, where are they? Where are the women at? We'll see them, I think, in the next part. Where are the prehistoric women at? <laughs> My gosh. Yeah, I think it takes a little, it's a little bit of a slow burn until you get to the to the women. But they're there. Don't worry about it. It's a lot of outer spacey stuff, and then you see the ladies. Yeah. <laughs> and then more outer spacey this, stuff. Yeah, this movie is actually um, sort of, it was taken from a Russian movie. Yes, uh, from 1962, and the name of that movie was... Uh oh factoid time. I know, I don't normally do a lot of factoids. This is, this is usually a factoid-free show. Um... So. Oh, I had it written down somewhere. That, well, it doesn't even matter if we have factoids. <laughs> anyway, it's a Soviet film from 1962 that Roger Corman 
he, he took it uh, and produced it into a different... Chopped it up, uh, you know, yeah. rearranged it, repurposed it, and then they crowbarred some scenes. Uh, they, they shot those scenes in like five days, right? Or something like that, three days? Yeah, it was like like just like a short maybe, time. Maybe in some gals on a shore, a beach shore, and they kind of, <laughs> like I said, crowbar it into the whole thing. You'll see. It's it's, it's a hot mess, but it's fun, all right? <laughs> That's is. all that really matters. Uh, and now we're going to talk about um, uh, the coloring contest that we had. Let's yes. Show. So we're, we're going to show the uh, contestants towards the middle of the show. Yeah, so like after maybe part two of the movie. But let's show a little bit of the, the work from the person that um, that helped us out with this, the artiste, I should say. We so should, yes. Okay. His name is Joe Wilhelm. Joe w Mouse Wilhelm. He, this is a cartoon he just recently did of us. Look at that. You're dressed up like a big banana going, seriously, Grim? And I'm like, oh, yeah, now peel slowly. <laughs> <laughs> Very funny. And if you want to check out more of his amazing artwork and fun stuff, go check him out at The Sheltered Life, his Facebook page. And uh, it's it, Joel's a really talented dude. He's uh, done a lot of work for The Ghoul Show in the early uh, 2000s when it came back to Cleveland. Mm -hmm. And um, man, and uh, He's we, a great artist. Yeah, we were lucky to befriend him and uh, talk to him at the Guardi Fest uh, two years ago, two Octobers ago. And uh, wow, uh, and, and he's been uh, gracious enough to, to do comics with us. You know, do comics oh, yeah. like this one panel of comics of uh, of us and some other horror hosts out there, along with his other like daily life sort of uh, things, you know, mm -hmm. uh, situations. And he provided some artwork for us, which I didn't load up here, unfortunately. But um, um, I don't know why I didn't do that. I can find it, but uh, go ahead. So he, yeah, he did uh, send us some art to be used for the color and caption contest, which we didn't print out. Darn it. Which which we don't have the image of right now, but it is on our Facebook page. It is, it really is. But anyway, and he, he did a great job. So yeah, we're excited about the contestants that we're going to share a little bit later. And we'll be seeing all of that, and probably after next break, right? Yeah, I think I think after part two of the movie, we'll show all the uh, towards the, the middle the, the contestants who uh, entered the color and caption uh, artwork that Joel sent in, and mm -hmm. you'll see that, and you're gonna see that same piece of art. You know, you know, a bunch of times in the little presentation, so you will kind get of see, like the memes we keep seeing. You'll get to see, <laughs> col you'll get to see colored versions. He, he he provided us with a black and white version, but uh, we'll see all the colored entries uh, that people that colored and, and, and digitally colored or whatever, uh, and and put and the captions in. Put in their own uh, creative and funny captions. You get a word balloon, and I get a word balloon, and uh, they have fun with it. Uh oh. So yeah, we'll those will be fun to read. Yeah, so let's get to that, and uh, we'll we'll tell you exactly what's going to happen with uh, the prize, the prizes associated with the coloring contest, mm -hmm. and um, all that kind of good stuff. So uh, I and we uh, uh, normally like around this time we'll we would announce convention appearances oh, and all that. No, but... we, we have some stuff. We'll talk about that stuff coming. Oh, up. Oh, you want to talk about? We have stills and stuff like that. Some to virtual stuff yeah, later. We'll talk okay. about that in a little bit. Okay. But I think people want to see what's going on uh, on the planet, whatever they're on, uh, the planet of prehistoric women. They're supposed to be on planet Venus. Oh, Venus. They of land course. on Venus. Venus. Of course they are, of course. <laughs> it's full of cheese, guys. All right. You would think that they were on the moon with all that cheese. That's right. Well, there you go. So let's, uh, without any further ado, do let's get on to <laughs> part two of Voyage to the Planet of Prehistoric, prehistoric women. women. Right here on The, the Mummy and the Monkey's Harry. Scary Hangout. Let's go. Blast off. <laughs> <laughs> What a dump. I'm going to take a look around. Keep on the rope. Don't get out of visual contact. You know everything because you're a man, and I know nothing because I'm a woman. You're not a woman. Oh. Ain't nothing like a good night, do! Hey! It was a weird, desolate place, but it fascinated me. And I forgot all about Kearns and Sherman and what we were there for. 
received a message. What did they say? Marsha has radar movement. Marsha, Marsha, Marsha! She can't be sure, but it looks like two objects. One metallic and moving in the area we expected to search. Probably Kern and Sherman. Come on, Andre! All right, all right, all right. to be more careful, Andre. If we hadn't heard you call me... I didn't call. You called out to us. We heard you. But I didn't call you. That's a lie! That is a... That it sounded is... like Lockhart. Let's be getting back. All we knew was that Marcia at Earth Control had spotted what was probably oh, Kearns and Sherman and approximately where they might be. So we started out in our space car heading in that general direction. Not stopping to investigate the many prehistoric sites we had. But we were still unable, no matter how hard we tried, to make radio contact with Kern or Sherman. Oh! Good heavens, someone's caught my tinkle. I don't think I can go on much further. John, stay with us. Make sure they find us. Gotcha. They should know. Must. Must continue to work the laws of mathematics. There's always a precise probability. Mathematics might prove. Mathematics might... <laughs> uh. Marcia. Marcia. Pyrrhus. Pyrrhus, Marsha. Marsha, Marsha, Marsha! You, you must help us. It, it's, it's close in here. I await your order. I await your order. I wish you could just shut your big yapper! Help them find us, John. Woo-woo! Whoa, whoa! Whoa, whoa! Whoa, whoa! Whoa, whoa! Whoa, whoa! Almost sounds like a girl. Oh, get out of here! A girl? Perhaps. Or a monster. <laughs>
up, Marama. Our sisters are calling. Wake up, wake up, Nala. Our sisters are awake. They're hungry. You have slept enough. It is time to go into the sea. Sure, no humans here. Well, we're humans. Uh, duh. <laughs> well, no one else has made it. You better believe it. But it sounds so human. Subhuman, you mean, like that 40 arm plant that just grabbed you. I still say it's a girl. A girl. With blue scales. Could be. He's on to something. It's possible that before us, other men got here. Especially in this age. You ought to know that, Hans. To a man of science, anything is possible until proven otherwise. Let's go. in my mouth. Flying reptile. You may not see us. creature it caused when it hit us and it was a good thing too for here under the sea we were to find the second clue to life on venus oh good for you let's put it down for a minute take a rest it's not far to the beach if our calculations are correct I hope this will run again. Don't worry, it will. Thank you, Mr. Know-it-all! Look, the cliffs are all in even rows. Like streets. I'll look around. Just five minutes. Might find something interesting. Or whatever. Hurry. You better not 
be using my hair crimper on your bad place again. Sucks. What makes neither Barabba so sad? Come, sisters, let us see. How far are we finna walk, baby? Oh, Dara. What evil demon has destroyed our God? What do you know? It's, it, it's a statue. Andre! Yes! What's up? You just look here. That's only a petrified tree. Only? Why, it's a bronze statue. And much more, Hans. Huh? Oh, really? Rubies. You say rubies? Show me. Simple. The eye of an idol. An idol? Yes, a reptile. A reptile resembling that flying monster that attacked us earlier. Up there. You're right, Andre. I'm not laughing anymore. There was a civilization here. And I'll bet you there still is. That's for damn sure.
welcome back one and all to the, the mummy, mummy and, and the monkeys scary scary hangout that's right and you've uh, been um just getting back from the uh, planet of prehistoric women the voyage to the planet of prehistoric they've already voyaged there they're just kinda, so now we're yeah, there they're, on they're, the planet they're, they're back looking at us <laughs> for a little bit so they go back to the planet but and they were having like a a, a, a pterodactyl uh, cookout or something I, she I had like a chef hat on. It looked like they made her master chef. Yeah. And uh, they get ready to uh, slice and dice puree and uh, get the Ginsu knives out and chop that baby up and uh, make themselves some pterodactyl hot wings. If that was me, that's what I would do. <laughs> <laughs> oh, geez. Uh, good stuff. So, yeah, we watched part two of that movie. You're being too nice. Good stuff. What well, not really that good. Terrible. Part two of that movie. Yeah. Uh, so Cheesy, but yeah. fun. So let's talk about some things that we got going on, uh, as usual, like we always do every week. On our horror-hosted live streaming show. Yeah. Um, ne tomorrow night is Saturday night, correct? Tomorrow Saturday. Tomorrow is Saturday, Graham. And we, you can get a little mummy monkey if you are, are local to uh, the Cleveland or Northeast Ohio area. Mm -hmm. You can tune into Channel 43 WAB to the Big Bad B Movie Show at 8 p.m. Yes. Uh, you might catch a Mummy the Monkey skit or two on there. <laughs> yeah, they, they put a couple of our skits on there. So, uh, yeah, you can check it out on WUAB or on the 19 Action News Roku app. That's right. They have all the episodes. Of, uh, they, I think they're up to episode 13, I believe. And uh, tomorrow night's movie is, I, it's oh, it's a, um, a Carnival of Souls. Oh, that's a great movie. It's a great movie, yeah. And we haven't shown that one yet, I don't think. But, um, yeah, we'll be on there for a little bit uh, tomorrow. And every week, usually, we have something on there. So check them out. Well, hosted by Leopold and Lenora. So check them out tomorrow night or go look at the, the stuff that they have um, on tap on their site. Yes. All right. And then uh, we got to plug some of our friends here that have stuff going on. Uh, our good friend Chris at Simply Wicked Decor. That's her Etsy store. Go get some cool stuff. Uh, she has already made or she can custom make you stuff. Uh, I got Janet a really fun thing for Christmas. It was a, a, a severed finger that looks like a mummy, wrapped, uh, a wrapped mummy finger. A severed uh, finger uh, hair clip. Hair clip, yeah. Yeah. So uh, it was uh, custom made uh, by Chris. So Thank I, you, Chris. So check her out uh, at her Etsy store at Simply Wicked Decor. Are you fur? And then we have our own stuffs for sale, don't we? Yes, we do. So we have a Teespring store with lots of cool graphic t-shirts, tank tops, hoodies. Uh, we even have the gaiters, the face coverings, uh, kid-sized t-shirts, ladies' fitted t-shirts, pillows, all that stuff, and it supports the channel. And us, we can buy macaroni and cheese and <laughs> bottled water, anything we need. Yeah, it helps but, keep us going so we can continue yeah. to bring you these shows. There's different artwork <clears throat> and different designs available, so... And, uh, yeah, we want to put up some new designs, too. So. <clears throat> That's right, always <clears throat> new stuff coming through. And later on tonight... After this show, we will head on over to the Mummy and the Monkey's Harry Scary Hangover on our YouTube channel. Yes, it's our after party chat show. So for you night owls out there, we can hop on over to YouTube at midnight and uh, we can talk about different topics. And we're, we're going to talk about uh, some B-movie actors and stuff later uh, for the show. But people ask us questions along the way and sometimes we change topics. and We just hang out for an hour or so yeah. and just kind of shoot the, the ship. <laughs> the SHIP, you know, yeah, and have a good time and <clears throat> kind of like, you know, decompress from here. We unpack mm -hmm. things, as they say now. We sometimes even pivot. <laughs> All those buzzwords people While we unpack, now. we'll pivot. Yeah. And at the end of the day, <laughs> we'll have something uh, maybe to show for, or maybe not. It is what it is. It is what it is. There right. you go. Use any of those little um, buzzwords. And then coming up in February, it won't oh. be for a couple oh, yes. weeks, but we do have a radio appearance for um, uh, KOAL in Utah, 107.3 FM out there. It's uh, The show is called My Side of the Universe, and Todd Wilcox hosts it. And uh, he interviewed us recently. So, yeah, he said uh, first week of February, I believe. So I have to double-check the day with him. Yeah, we'll, uh, we'll talk more on that. We'll have a graphic and everything to point people to it. Uh, so they can just go back and watch this and write it down mm -hmm. if they have to. But it's we'll online that. as well. So, yeah, it's out, you know, they broadcast out west, but you can also listen online. And with any luck, we'll, we'll have a nice surprise for the our mini monsters out there by next week, too. So if yeah. you want to elaborate any more on that right now, just say uh, tune in next week and see what we're talking about. But the little mini monsters are going to have some really cool stuff uh, for them. And speaking of that, if you guys out there, we, we have a lot of families that watch, people with their kids, grandkids, nieces, nephews. If you have mini monsters that you want to do a shout out, um, you can send us an email 
the mummy and the monkey at gmail.com. We right. also do birthday shout outs, anniversaries, that sort of thing. Bar mitzvah, bat mitzvah, shout outs, whatever you want to say. Yeah, do. I mean, any, any situation, any event. any event, right, any occasion. Uh, right, Bernie? That's right. Oh, he came back. Yeah, for a second. <laughs> All right. He, he's, he's uh, I didn't know he could teleport like that. Hey, that, that guy is just all over the place. Who knew? He, yeah, he, he's, he's <laughs> ubiquitous, as they say. All right. Okay, so color and caption contestants for the contest. Now, are we going to do that? Next? I think we should do that after fart three. Really? Well, uh, we'll I do thought that. we were going to do it halfway through. We can if you want. Let's do it. All right, let's do it. All right, I say, I think you're right. Let's see. Coloring contest. Let me get that here. That I put it. Da, 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 da. There it is. All right. So <clears throat> what we'll do here is we'll go through. I made a little uh, like a video uh, uh, mon uh, collage of everything. Ah, uh, uh, like a so little we, montage. Yeah, these are all the contestants and uh, what they did, and uh, we'll read their captions and kind of go over it very quickly. Awesome. And uh, and then uh, you'll see. So here we go. Okay. Now, this is all thanks to our good buddy out there. Joel Mouse Wilhelm for doing the artwork for this. So here we go. Hey, thank you, Joel. Here we go with the, uh, the, okay, so the first one is by Brian Block, Curse of the Mummy. You see, Janet says, Orange. Weren't you glad I didn't say? Banana. And that's the passion <laughs> for them. Check that out. The next uh, is by Liana Block and. Monkey, did you take my lipstick? Uh, no. Nice job on the color there, Liana. Then next, we have Julius Block and his very minimalist approach to the coloring concept. I like wow, it. Grim had a poo explosion. Hey, maybe, but uh, hey, good, good, good work, kid. That's very cool. <laughs> Our next uh, is by Chris Halet. Hey, look at that. Uh, oh, I can't repeat that word. Stop using my wraps for toilet paper. Uh oh. <laughs> nice job, Chris. Our next entry is from Danine Copeland. Where's Saxon? Oops, forgot to put him the put him in the film. <laughs> Thank you, Denise. <laughs> Thanks, Denise. Our next one is by Eric McCuskey. All right. Catman Eric. Ship. Oh, ship, Grim. Return the audio. I was only uh, it was only a double click. <laughs> Our next entry is from Hack Editor. Grim, what does that smell? Uh, monkey butt. I like the uh, sort of pop art color on that. It's yeah, that's fun. Nice, actually, very good. John Calderas submits. Who mixed the reds with my whites? Oh, shrimp. <laughs> <laughs> I like that one. Jason Licardi says. I'll swallow your soul. I uh, guess I, I said the wrong words. Oops. I, I, I Am I a deadite in that one? So check this one. This is from John. Oh, no, this is wrong. This is not right. This is Lofty Moose, I believe. So Lofty Moose said that yeah, one. Yeah, I don't know. I must have copy-pasted that wrong. Put down the toilet seat. Toilet? And then the Hoot Nanny, Lofty's uh, little pet there, said, sent this little thing Whoa. In, which is a whole different universe. Uh, yeah. Sorry about that, Lofty. We're like in, a, in another dimension there. This next one is by Martin Schink. Don't you? Uh... I like that's kind of pop arty too. Like the colors <laughs> on that. It's different. Yeah, I like it. Yeah. Good job, buddy. And then Tony Marr submits. For the last time, the new Ghostbusters movie is not good. Oh, I just asked if we had any more popcorn. Oh, and Liam Rusho. <laughs> the mute button was on for the whole show. You will pay. When she is done, my butt will be as red as a baboon's. Oh, no. <laughs> nice job, William. <laughs> very, very cool. And I think that is that with that. Now, we had a special, special submission by a, uh, a, a fan slash artist. We uh, did. Who does uh, a digital artist who and he, he did uh, the opening, the animation for our show. Mm -hmm. our, our opening animation. And he does other stuff for us, too. Randall? Yes, Randall. <gasps> Randall. Very good. Yes, of course, Randall. Yes. Yay! And uh, he, there's also stuff that we have not even used yet that I cannot wait to incorporate into our show. Ooh. So, but he sent this sub. Uh, you this guys are so in. creative. Yeah. Wait, you see his submission. Okay, <laughs> this is here we great. Go. Actually, 
Let's go back and we'll, we'll we'll just narrate it with the things. There's no narration to that. I think it could use it. Oh well, yeah, so I let, thought it had back. music or something. It has to music, it. but we could actually talk over. So let's do that again. Okay. All ready? Curse of the Mummy. Gregory. Ah, what's buzzing, cousin? Why does my hair look and smell like bananas? I switched to your shampoo to something more appealing. You did what? Uh, it says it's guaranteed uh, to guarantee to unmute uh, your look. <laughs> I'm really mad there. I go I went like super singing on you. <laughs> yeah, I love you. Give I love the credits and stuff at the end. That's really, really cool. Randall, you did a bang up job. We that, should uh, narrate comics more often. We should. Well, we had this creachy, is fun. We have creepy comics that we should bring back, but they'll take a little time, I know. But yeah, so that that submission is one in a different category, I think, and uh, I, that one's just awesome, uh, mm -hmm. you know. And uh, so, what, wow. so, so here's what we're doing. We thought all the entries that, entries that we got were great. So everyone that enters entered is going to get something in the mail from us. Yeah, we want to send either like a button or a little sew-on patch or something to everyone who submitted a, 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 a piece of art. That's right. So since it's so hard to decide which is the best one and which, you know, whatever we like, you know, between us, we're just going to do a random draw. We're going to do a drawing, okay? Okay. So, uh, uh -oh. yeah, we'll write down the names of the contestants, and I will do a drawing after the movie. And uh, the one lucky winner will get, uh, we'll send them... Like some buttons, uh, maybe a signed picture. Who knows? A DVD. It's gonna some be cool a, mummy monkey swag. It's gonna be a nice yeah. little package there. So uh, a little fan pack. We want to thank everyone that entered. We want to thank Joel for uh, Joel Mouse Wilhelm for sending us the artwork to do that with. Oh we'll yeah. We have to do this again sometime. Really fun. This is fun. The color caption thing was. Fun. You guys are so creative. Now, the funny, thank you. The funny thing uh, going back to Lofty Moose's uh, entry was yeah. that it was all yellow. It he, was. Remember, it said color and caption. He goes, I pick yellow. <laughs> for his color. He, he colored everything in yellow. Just color. color mellow, mellow yellow. Color, singular, you know. So yeah. he, he took it literally, but uh, that's what makes Lofty Moose a Lofty Moose. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, uh, Lawrence Laney Lofton. Oh, I, he's the one that did the ghosty looking one, or yeah. the other dimension. Well, yeah, he, yeah, well, the Hoot Nanny did that. Don't, yeah. get it, don't get it twisted. Oh, okay. All right, anyway. All right, well, we should get back to the movie. Whew. All right, yeah, but we have another hour to go. We only have two more farts of this movie. Oh, that's okay. We, we can talk. We'll figure it out, yeah. We'll, we'll figure something to talk, you know. All right, anyway, yeah. I'm still a little giddy. I'm still a little giddy, all right. Oh, so wow. here we go with fart three of Voyage to the Planet of, of the Prehistoric, Prehistoric women. women. Right here on The, the Mummy, Mummy and the Monkey's Harry. Scary hell. Okay, here we go. <laughs> much longer. You're, you're not alone. Here we are, Skipper. Good. We'll need more fire. 
Everything in the car is soaking wet. Uh, feels good to set. How are the batteries, Hans? They stay dry. The atom plant? Still hot. You've got that worried look again, Hans. I've pulled and checked every wire and part in that darn radio. It won't operate. I've tried everything I know. I tell you, it's simply hopeless. How about a long string in an oatmeal box? <laughs> <laughs> oatmeal box. The radio will dry out. We know it's not a dead planet. Not completely. Our proof is the statue and Ruby. And the woman. She's probably somewhere. For his sake. But the main thing is, there could be a whole race of people out there watching us, hiding, afraid that we'll observe them. By them. We came from above. Drop. To them, we're probably some kind of monster. What if they're human shape? They very well could look like us. But mind you, I'm only advancing a little hypothetical science fiction. Because nothing should be overlooked. Let's face it. They built a city that's now under the sea. Hans, it must be true. Many made it to shore from the sea. Then why didn't they build themselves another? We may find they did. When we explore the planet. Before we leave, I'll meet her. Beautiful song and a beautiful girl. Ooh, he likes girls. She must have heard you. Where is it? Everywhere. Suppose it could be an omen? Or maybe she's helping us. If I could just see what she looks like. sensation. I didn't know what it meant. And I kept staring at that rock I'd found, as though perhaps it might hold an answer. You are a meathead. Andre! Andre! Thanks for waiting. Don't mention it! <laughs> She'd take care of you. Stop teasing him, hon. He's in love. Fire. 
gotten suddenly dark. Well, it's no wonder. What makes you say that? Well, how the hell should I know? There's an ash cloud above us. An ash cloud? Well, I'll be a dang fool! A volcano? Yes. It's spectacular. And beyond the volcano, it looks like the lights of a city. The red spot Andre saw. We must get a move on. Not right away. This might be our only chance to gather some samples. Lava and ash. To take away with us. All right. We'll go to a much better vantage point than right now. Sherman, come. But look at the magnificence. No one on Earth has seen such a sight. I am hurrying. Are you getting the spectra sample? Getting it now. That's enough. The lava is rising. Let's 
luck. For God's sakes, hurry. <laughs> John didn't oh. make it. All right, well, you know, but we have, but you know what? But the good thing is we have a tribute uh, by a band coming up pretty soon after the Fart Fart Four. Uh, it's a tribute to uh, the Robot John, you know, a musical, yeah, at, at the a end rockabilly the musical tribute. At the end of the show, yeah, right. we're, we're going to play a fun music video. That's right. Uh, dedicated to the uh, death of Robot John. The life and death of Robot John. Yeah, yes. that's right. That's how we do it here. We commemorate those who have fall in the uh, crappy movies that we show right here on the Mummy and the Monkey's Harry, Harry Scary, Scary Hangout. Hangout. That's right. So, uh, wow, only one more fart to go, and that'll be coming up pretty soon. I know you can't wait, but you're going to have to now. Because mm -hmm. right now we're going to do uh, What Do You Do's. Ooh, there we go. Yeah, we That's have right. people send us pictures. So if you're new to this show, um, what we do every week, and we try to anyway, is we encourage y'all to send any kind of photographs of yourself and uh, what you do when you watch our show, whether it be in front of your television, watching on your smartphone, on your laptop. Yeah. Maybe you have a little shrine or little, some people have like little things, little fun setups around their uh, television or laptop. Like their action figure yeah. collection or their gaming setup. Right, or their food, yeah. or whatever they eat, you know, all kinds of stuff. So, mm -hmm. uh, but we'll check that out right now. So let's get into the intro of what do you do? And then we'll go over a few of the uh, photographs that we received this week. Okay, here we go. Oh, what do you do when you're watching the hangout? Do you watch on your PC? Do you watch on your phone in a group or alone? Send us pics and let us see. Oh, what do you do when you're watching the hangout? Does your hairy scary show? <laughs> do you watch with your dog or do you sleep like a log? Send us pics and let us know. Yeah. Righty dighty, here we go with our first submission for the night. It was from Todd Galt. And he, uh, it looks like he's falling asleep to actually, uh, the boring movie we're no, showing. No, he's, he's looking down. He's watching <laughs> on his phone. Man, I tell you what, that is one troop right there watching on his phone. But you can see that this show could be watched on your phone, on your anything that streams, on your television. Yeah. He's sitting there with his best buddy there. Uh, twixt his legs. Look at that little guy. He's just sitting there watching. Now the cat's not watching. He's uh, I think he wants to be pet. 
But Todd is uh, deeply engaged in the show. So thank you, Todd, for yes, sending that in. Yes, thank you, Todd. So this is from Bobby Harvey Jr. once again with his with his kitty cat. Bobby Harvey, yeah, hanging out with his cat. And uh, that's how he watches the show. He said he uh, watches with his cat, Salem. That's right. And the last submission for the night is, oh, he's oh, back. Oh, that guy died. from Vermont is back. Can he not, can he, does he always, I mean, I, well, <laughs> hey, look. <laughs> he's DTF. That's we know he's DTF. He's got his popcorn. Uh, he's down to Friday. He's with, down to Friday. Watching on his laptop. Well, thank you so much, guy from Vermont, <laughs> for watching our show. And wow, what can we say? And also, let's see, go to those stills. Where are they? We had a few other stills. Yeah, we had a few other ones with uh, the guy from Vermont. There's there's the oh. monkey interviewing <laughs> the guy from Vermont. But well, I don't remember that. But yeah, must... I don't remember meeting him at uh, Comic Con. But you never know who you run into at yeah, those things. We, we, one was in Akron. Okay, so yeah. maybe it happened. And there he was. He was also at what? At that the, the Halloween festival in oh. Akron. Wow. That's weird. What yeah, that's I don't remember there? him being at the festival. But yeah, maybe he was. You know, off in the background. He was colder than the rest of us that day. All right. Yeah. Well, he gets cold easy, I hear. Well, there you go. That's our <laughs> What Do You Do segment. And uh, with a bonus uh, guy from Vermont uh, hanging out with us. Yeah. So we didn't know he was there. Wow, check him out. Who knew? Man, in the past he was there. He must have invented a time machine or something. Well, he we, we know that he can teleport since he was sitting on the couch with us. Like that. There he is. Oh, oh my gosh. There he is again. And there he is. <laughs> I'm censoring it. There he goes. And there he, there he went. <laughs> he just, he's just so fast, that guy. I can't keep up with him. <laughs> The Flash, eat your heart out. A-Train from the boys, eat your heart out. You're not going to be able to stay up, keep up with with, with the guy from Vermont. All right. <clears throat> uh, Daryl Cox says pre-mask. That's what you refer to the uh, the before times. Yeah, back in the before times. Yeah. All right. But yeah, he uh, had his mask ready to go. He did. He did. <laughs> and Sean says, happy birthday, Lil John. Yeah, Lil John earlier in the week oh, had yes. a birthday. So yeah, he, we should have mentioned that earlier, but we did post it on our Facebook page. I think it was on on Monday or Tuesday. He had a birthday. And uh, no less, but our friend Rick, he's uh, he's uh, he can use some good juju and some good uh, vibes. So if if just aim this to a guy named Rick, and he'll get him. All right. Yes. Yeah, so uh, we hope you feel better, Rick. All right. Cool. And uh, <laughs> Gary Smith said he tried watching on his phone, but it's a, it's a landline, so. <laughs> it didn't work that well. You have to, and he's staring really hard in that face, and it didn't really. Yeah, it doesn't Just quite didn't. doesn't quite work that way. All right, <laughs> Bertie is Doctor Who. He might be. You never know, because he does change bodies all the time. So you never know who he is now. Who knows? Yeah. <laughs> the uh, comments are great. Crazy comments and stuff. I wish I could read, but uh, oh, Albert says his mom's eighty third birthday is today. Well, happy birthday! Happy birthday, Albert's mom. To your mother, Albert. Wow, that's really that's really cool. Awesome. Wow. 83, wow. Very cool. 138 of you guys are still with us. That's incredible. What's wrong with you all? I know, right? <laughs> it's Friday night. There's a lockdown. Uh, you know, uh, there's a pandemic. I mean, that's probably why they must have watched everything on Netflix yeah, already. They, they, yeah, yeah. They, the Mandalorian, the boys, <laughs> all that Amazon stuff. They binged watched it the first day it came out. All right, so we have one last part of the movie. Part of the movie. Part of the movie. One more blow to go. And then we'll announce the uh, caption. <laughs> we did, yes. And uh, color wrote, contest. She wrote all the names down. Connie Cleary is not in there. No. So Connie won't win that tonight. But out of the uh, 13 or 14 entries, we had official entries. If we didn't, for whatever reason, I mean, we went through the mail. We scoured the email. I think we got everybody. Yes, But yes. Uh, we were everyone's name down. We're going to pick a grand prize winner, but you all will receive something. Who entered? So. Well, James Muscarella commented that um, he did send us a picture he made, but yes. it wasn't the picture that was in our contest. So uh, we could show that picture next Friday. We'll deal with James. Yeah. Don't worry. About it. So, so no will, worries. We'll send we'll, it. You'll definitely we'll, uh, get the hookup next week. We'll share that next Friday. All right. Let's see. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Oh. Gene Woodlock says, hi, just stumbled on you. I like it. Thanks, Gene. We hi, like Gene. You. <laughs> <laughs> All Thanks right. Thanks for joining us. Mm. All right. Well, let's get back into the final conclusion of Voyage to the Planet. Bobby James says your your drink is still visible. That apple juice you have in there. Yeah, my special. That's a um, little glass for apple juice. How, is that enough for you? I, mean, I, didn't, I didn't eat much. You're cutting down. All right. Yeah. Anyway, so let's get to the final fart. The, the last blow of this movie. <laughs> Voyage to the Planet, Planet of, of Prehistoric, Prehistoric Women. Women. Right here on where, Janet? The Mummy and the Monkeys. Hairy, scary, 
Hang out. Oh boy, here we go. One more blow. Let's, Let's go. go. Well, you're just in time for what might be a very unhappy ending. It was just a metal monster. <laughs> and yet when his destruction was imminent, he called my name. Well, isn't that special? Looks placid and calm. But frightening. Yes, I suppose it does, if you use imagination. We'll soon be home. That's right, but we leave a friend behind. Exactly. Come. Join the rest of us. So we took stock of the situation. And though we tried to keep our spirits up, it was still pretty discouraging. The volcano had destroyed some of our provisions, and our rocket ship's fuel supply was low anyway, considering the added weight of Kearns and Sherman. It looked like we'd have to be starting back very soon. What else is there to do? Well, we can look for Andre's girl. Very cute, Hans. You name them after us? Hmm? What's wrong with you? Well, with triplets, it's better with numbers. Looks to me like he's raising his own countdown. Why not names? I'd forget. I'm worried about him. <laughs> Here, you two. Have some coffee and rest your voice. If only there was some way to communicate with them, some way to make them understand we were not an enemy that we wanted nothing except to know their ways, study their civilization. Or was it really all just fancy? Just my wishful imagination? And that sound only an accident caused by the wind in the canyon? Oh, good Lord, you scared me! <laughs> <laughs> Now that's where your countdown is about my Wake up, sisters. It is a new day, and our land is safe again. But what is that? Something strange is there. Come and see. Fire mountain. He shows us his power. Gentlemen, let's go to KFC. I'll drive. You pay. Better get out and locate her, Andre. She wants you to stay on me. Just you wait. I think perhaps we should be trying to find her and take her with us. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I vote for that. But she might not like us much anyway. If we could explore beyond those hills, I'll bet you money we'd find her and the city. You've been reading too many comics. Karn wouldn't believe she existed if she were sitting on his lap right now. Want to bet? We're here.
We used to swing with her. Sisters! All of the invaders have not been destroyed. What are you that? What are you talking about? They are stronger than the god of the fire mountain. But now, Terra will speak. I think we did a job we can be proud of. Look at all the samples we got. There's going to be a large headline when they see all these great things we're bringing back to them. You said it, Boston. This one's loaded, old man. Steady, child. Bring the spectra. heavier than any rain we'd ever seen. But it continued without let up. In fact, it seemed to increase in strength. As we planned our takeoff procedure, which required some adjustment because of Kearns and Sherman, I know we all felt slightly uneasy, nervous, as we listened to the heavy rainfall on the ship. For myself, I, I listened with a sinking feeling as though every drop were taking me further and further from ever finding her. Then suddenly... Quickly, Andre! Hunt! but I just washed my hair. We must stay. We must stay. 
They are stronger than our gods. They are stronger than Terra. Terra is a false god. No! Is this a happy ending or a sad ending? It's an ending. That's enough. Well, that's the story. Boring! It's been two years now, and there's been no plan to return to Venus. Lockhart and Kearns have moved on to other missions. There's Mars to be explored, and Jupiter. But I can't forget her, and I'm going back. Maybe someday I'll see her. Maybe I'll die trying. Oh, brother. <laughs>
Ooh, 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 ooh. Well, oh my, oh me, oh my. Hey there. <laughs> Welcome back, everyone, to the, the Mummy, Mummy and, and the Monkey's Scary, Scary Hangout. Having a lot of fun out there. Did you enjoy <laughs> your voyage to the planet of the prehistoric women? I didn't. <laughs> yeah, that's that's a really dumb movie. Yeah, you know, again, it was a Roger <laughs> Corman thing where he did the Roger Corman thing he always does. Right. You have a really awesome title. You have a really cool, you know, really cool poster art. A trailer, you know, a couple stars that are good looking, and then the movie's just, <laughs> and, with, and the movie's crap, but he never lost any money on his movie. He's a genius for that. Okay, so a lot of people like that. Well, yeah, well, your Fifty Shades of, uh, oh, no, you don't want to see the Fifty Shades of Grimm. No, 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 no. <laughs> Peeling my banana. That's not a good thing. <laughs> Oh my. Well, that was interesting, yeah. Well, well, hey, you know what? I'm happy everyone enjoyed the movie, at least the sound drops and the uh, the visual stuff that I got to put in it. Because, look, I know these movies have been shown a lot of these uh, horror-hosted shows. Right. So, you know, we're trying to figure out a way to make them a little more interesting or, or, or enjoyable to watch. Because, you know... You're watching... So it's our, uh, it's our uh, unique flavor here of yeah. The Mummy and the Monkey. We, we have something uh, retro and something new with grim sound effects. Yeah, so to, you know, to enjoy the same thing. It's like, you know, uh, like leftovers, right? You know what I mean? You know, I'll, I'll sprinkle a little Parmesan cheese or something on the uh, on the leftover spaghetti to make it a little nicer, you know, the, the next day. I don't know. Yeah, it makes it more enjoyable. Wow, we got a great show for Richard McFarland. Thank you. And it's not oh, over thank yet. Thank you, Richard. We no. got some more show to go. We do you. have more show to We're go. We're showing a whole other movie, the sequel to... <laughs> no, the, the no. voyage to the prehistoric it, men. No double feature tonight. The planet of prehistoric We've men. We've done that before, and wow, that's a marathon to host two movies back to back. Well, you know, this is Bobby James said 133 made it through, weirdos. Yeah, I mean, this <laughs> you is, weirdos. Usually by this time of night, we're down to like 50 people. So that's, that's pretty good. All right, so what else do we have to we do? We have, now? we have, we, we have. have to pick a winner. We do. So let's pick the winner of the coloring contest. Okay. All right. The coloring and caption coloring, contest. Uh, provided by our good buddy Joe Mouse Wilhelm. Thank you so much for that artwork, Joe. We'll give you a plug here and say, let's, let's go back to that. With, uh, da, da, da. If I can get to that. Yeah, there you go. Let's shake this up a little bit more and then I'll pick a winner. The artwork provided by Joe from the Sheltered Life. Look at that. So we'll come back here, boom, and we'll pick that winner for you. Now, everyone that enters is going to get a prize. And the but winner this is, is for the ultimate prize. The winner is the Hoot Nanny. Whoa! Lawrence Lady Lofton. Wow, not Lofty Moose, which is like. Not, not Lofty Moose. I know, sorry, that was my bad. Yeah, the Hoot Nanny. I should Nanny know the difference one. between a Lofty Moose and a Hoot Nanny. Congrats, Lawrence Lady Lofton. Thank you. Well, there you go. And uh, congrats to all of the contestants. We will. Um, in, in the email, just make sure there's a mailing address, and yeah, we can send out we like a button yeah. or um, like a, a patch or something. We, if we don't have your, you know, we'll, we'll hit you up. We'll, yeah. We know who entered, so we're all good there. Okay, so. Maybe a mummy monkey valentine or something. You never know what's going to happen. The yeah. Valentine's show should be fun. Hey, look who's joining us. Oh, hi, Earl. Oh. It's Earl. Why is he up here? He's looking for the laser. Aha. He's looking for the laser. Uh, Put pointer. it on the, on the couch there. Hey, Earl. Oh, there you go. Earl, look. Ah, he left already. Earl. Crip Kit and Earl making a cameo <laughs> appearance here on the show. All a right. cameo. A cameo. A cameo. Oh, boy, look at you with the pun over here. The pun master over here. Maybe he'll jump back up on the, on the couch. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so, you know, like we said, oh, there is. You, you got to see the, sort of the, the demise of, uh, sadly, of uh, Ro Robot John, right? What did I do with that? <laughs> da, 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 da. Say hi, Earl. Say Earl hi. is there, right? He is here. This not, okay, so this, this, this here's a little ditty put, to, uh, put together by a band named Dr. West. And the video is called, I believe it's called... Uh, the, the Death of Robot John, yeah. and it's by uh, David Rudy. Yeah, Dr. West, I Dr. guess the name West. of the band. It's a rockabilly thing. So, Dr. West, take it away! The Death of Robot John. Woohoo! Wow, 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 wow. <laughs> Come out of that one. Woo, Whoa. Hi, look at that. Wow. Thank you. David Rudy, right? For, David Rudy. Yeah, and, yeah uh, that's awesome. Dr. West, I guess the name of the band. And that was The Death of Robot, Robot John. John. Check it out on YouTube. Give them some likes. Give them some views. You mm -hmm. know, subscribe, follow, whatever they're doing on that channel. But look it up. It's really easy to find. But yeah, that, that kind of just fell into our lap this today. I mean, you know, we posted yeah. that we're doing the show yesterday. We posted a picture of the movie poster. 
And uh, yeah, they commented like, hey, my, my brother has a song. <laughs> so it's like, what are the odds of that? I it's just know. so funny. <laughs> anyway, yeah, so that that's awesome. Yeah, if they could do, if we could find some more stuff that they that, that would work on our show, we would love to have them on, of course. Yeah. You know, if anyone out there has any music uh, that they want to uh, submit and that they could, uh, that they might want to show on the show. Show on the show. Or, or listen, you know, put on a show. Yeah. You can always mummy, write us at, yeah. The mummy and the monkey at gmail.com. Isn't that right, guy from Vermont? That's oh. exactly right. <laughs> Please write them. They're great people. I like them. I'm on it. I'll be five. See you later. All right. All right. Bye, guy from Vermont. <laughs> Bye. Right. He's fast. He's Earl's so looking great. for him. Earl. Oh. Did you see Earl? He was like, where'd that guy go? Maybe not, yeah. <laughs> anyway, wow. What a, what, a, what a show tonight. Wow, it was a great show. A lot of people, turned, still 136 watching. This is awesome. This is really good. So we still have TV Showtime travel to do. Let's yeah. do that. So, uh, Grim, yeah, take us back right. down uh, memory lane with the, right. Cleveland tel the Cleveland TV Showtime travel. That's right. You get to see what was shown around this time uh, in 1977 in uh, Cleveland, Ohio, Northeast Ohio on the late night uh or host uh, shows that we're on at, until the next day. So here we go. Ooh, baby, here we go. Another Cleveland TV show time travel. You're ready to set forth. Here it is Saturday, Saturday, January 21st, 1977, on the Hoolahan and Big, Big Chuck, Chuck show, show, baby. And their movie that night was Colossus, Colossus. The Forbidden Project. Shh, don't tell the nobody. Forbidden, forbidden Project. Yeah, don't tell nobody. Oh, the Forbidden. My forbidden, bad. yeah. Uh, forbidden. I don't forbidden think I've better. seen this one. And then later on that night on the same station at 1.30 a.m. on 8 All Night was... The, the Crimson, Crimson Canary. Canary. Tweet, tweet. Who knows what this is about? It's like a murder mystery or some sort like of Like a mystery. whodunit, yeah. All right, the next day on the 21st, or well, the same day on the 21st, later on that day, at 12 noon was Superhost, and he had an hour of the Three Stooges, <laughs> as he always does. Because again, this is a four-hour show on Saturday. It started at noon, and his first movie of two that day at 1 p.m. was... The Spider. Oh, check this out. Now, this Earth, Earth versus the Spider, I mean. Ooh, this classic. is a great I just saw this the other day. It's a really, really good movie. I love this yeah. movie. And then the second movie that day was Abbott and Costello meet Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. With Bar Boris Karloff. That's right. They got to meet both of them. That's pretty good. It's, that's hard to do. Ooh, cool. He's like the Hulk. You get him angry, he turns into that thing. I wonder what his breast smelled like. Probably not that good. <laughs> he needs to brush some teeth. And that concludes tonight's TV. Cleveland TV Showtime Travel, baby! Woo! Woo yeah. <laughs> so yeah, living here in Cleveland, growing up here in Cleveland in the uh, 60s, 70s, and 80s was really cool because there were so many horror-hosted shows throughout the weekends, uh, in the night and into the day. Mm -hmm. There were even more at one period. There was like, you know, a couple of things going on Friday nights and then several things going on Saturday afternoon and into the night. So, wow. And hopefully, you, when you were growing up then, you had these kind of things going on. And Maybe then, that's why you're watching this show. And that was before your Netflix, your streaming shows. Yeah. Heck, I mean, in some cases, it was before people had a VCR. Right. You know, it was Maybe before the, the blockbuster video stores. So, yeah, I mean, you had to look to see what was on TV for your entertainment so and talk, actually check the guide. That's right. So let's talk about we're going to be in another few minutes here. We're going to go on over to, we're going to wrap the show up here right now, right? Yeah, we're going to wrap things up tonight. And then, I don't know where I'm showing. Okay, so we're going to go over to our YouTube channel, right? We're going to jump on over to YouTube. And uh, we are the Mummy and the Monkey on YouTube. It's super easy to find us. And it's The Mummy and the Monkey's Harry Scary Hangover. And this will be episode 43, I believe. That's right. Yeah, episode 43. And it's just an after party talk show. And Ooh, Earl is trying to catch a laser. Look at that. <laughs> He's Earl. after the laser pointer. Earl, come on. <laughs> so give us like five minutes, guys, and then we're going to jump on over to YouTube and we'll hang out and chat with you. Look, it's on, it's on Mummy. <gasps> uh oh. Is Earl going to attack me? <laughs> I don't know. He won't do it. He Come doesn't on. know what to think. There he goes. Oh, he's going to run off with the laser. Yeah, he loves his laser. What cat does Bye, Earl. <laughs> I like that with bananas. He All tries right. to press the buttons himself. He does. He knows what he, he, he knows tries to like figure it out himself. Right. He's, a, he's a smart kiddo. Yeah. All right. Anyway, thanks for joining us tonight on our uh, 111th show, mm -hmm. our Facebook live streaming show, which is live pretty much every Friday night, 10 p.m. Eastern Time, right here on our Facebook page, right? Yes, almost every single Friday. So like and follow our Facebook page, and that way you'll be updated whenever we put out uh, some more info, and more content, we, and that, all that. That's right. And for what it's worth, when you get uh, done watching, binge watching everything on Netflix, The Queen's Gambit, 
and everything on Amazon and everything on whatever platform you're watching on your Fire Stick, you get worn out. <laughs> you can check out the archives on our Facebook page. We have like 111 shows up there now. Yeah, so. we have over 100 episodes Woo. in our video archives here on Facebook. That's right. So you can check them out when you got nothing else better to do or mm -hmm. when you got something better to do. Whatever you want to do. And now we're going to jump on over to the YouTube Woo. channel. Give us like five minutes and we'll meet you there, guys. Thank you so much for watching. That's right. Good night. Good fright. That's right. See you later, yeah. alligators. <laughs> okay, I love you. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs>